morning folks. This is one of the jobs I've been asked to do before the campsite reopens in March is clear the molehills. Okie dokie. I like the sound the pinpoint makes as well actually. What's this shit? Got here then. Well, thank you, Mr. Moore. We got a coin. Not a valuable coin, but a coin all the same. Quite a few signals around these molehills, for sure. Pity it's all crap. <laughs> Padlock. Okay, next hole. Keep my camera too on it. I don't believe that. I really don't believe that. Look. I haven't got my glasses on. I do believe. Is it a ring or a piece of. Oh, looks like a ring. Bloody hell. Wasn't expecting that, but. Right, so I think this was actually in the molehill. Yeah. What has Mr. Mole got for us today? Hey, Mr. Mole. He's got us a ring pull. Okay. I don't believe it. Got another coin. It's a bit bent up. I ain't got my glasses with me. I think it's a 5p though. Investigation later. So that's definitely the back part of Molehill's done. I'll just climb around this fence. Go into the other side. Oh, burn. A lot of rain here recently. So the burn's flowing pretty quick. Might have to get in there and do some gold panning. And it's a bit warmer. We come back up towards the end of the year again. So what I'm loving with the XP MI4 pinpointer. I mean I love the position you can have on your belts. Uh, the noise it makes, the tones, is really good. It sort of increases the intensity as you get near the target. And the vibration on it is, is really strong. It's really good. I'm, I'm very impressed. I'll tell you what as well. Putting this small coil on has made such a difference to finding targets in there because it's so trashy. I think they must have built the campsite on a rubbish tip or something. It's literally dropped out of the dropped out as soon as I dug it out look there it is what is that well it's a whoa yeah a silver looks like I ain't got my glasses on so if I'm wrong I apologize but it looks like a florin I'll try to clean what was it fine or is it yeah I think so I'll uh, clean it up and put it up later. Here, here comes my helper, the monster. Go on, go, go. I don't need your help. No. Oh, yeah, I'm a holder. I did do the hole. Welcome.
welcome to Mold Utopia. Let's see what we've got in this one. Well, oh my goodness me, Mr. Mole has only dug up an old penny. Ooh. Would you believe it, eh? That's come out of a, that's honestly come out of a molehill. Well done, Mr. Mole. Another molehill hit. Lost it, look. It's another coin. Mr. Mole has produced another coin. 20p. And toasted. in a bit. That's an, <laughs> another coin from Mr. Mole. So, this is the last few mole hills. It's been really successful actually. Uh, Sunday I'm off to Brecon for a day dig. A uh, little trip. It's our Christmas tree we had in the moho. I hope it's going to grow beer and use it for next year. So, that was really good, really enjoyed that. Quite a few finds, more than I expected. The pinpointer was absolutely fantastic. Uh, the other good thing about it, compared to the macro, uh, not the macro one, is the button is on the side, uh, so I'm, I'm not accidentally turning it on every time I put it back in my pocket or in its holster. Uh, so that's another bonus. Okie doke, hope you enjoyed that. Catch you next time.